We're gonna draw this clear glass of ice water. And looks pretty fancy, but I got some great tricks that are gonna make it easy for you. Okay, we're gonna start with an oval at the top of the page. This is gonna be the opening of our glass right at the top. There's our oval. Now our glass is gonna come down, gets a little narrower at the bottom. Same on both sides, a little narrower. And when we put the bottom on, it has to follow the same curve, okay? So there's the curve on the bottom of our glass. Now on the inside, we're gonna do the same curve, but I'm gonna switch to pencil for the top oval, and I'll explain why in just a minute. But now we need to do some erasing later, so there. But see, it's that oval, same oval, but a little bit smaller. Tuck it in on each side. Now I'm gonna be able to come down and I have parallel lines, same shape, and I've got it right across the bottom. There, look at that parallel. And still I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to this. Now I'm gonna put an ice cube. Our first ice cube is like a big square, but it's a real soft square because it's an ice cube and it's starting to melt. So now I've got an ice cube coming up off the top, but it's gonna come outside that top circle. And I have an ice cube kind of at the bottom. Let's overlap the bottom here. Now I'm gonna give it some really light hints of it being a rectangle, but again, it's an ice cube. It's melting, and so it's not real sharp anymore in terms of it being a square or a rectangle. Okay, there's my hint of ice cubes. Now I'm gonna go back and trace over this line because, see, I just wanted it to not show through my ice cube. There, that's better. Okay, there's my ice. Now I'm gonna put a few little texture lines. I got a couple of bubbles in here. I'm going to put like a little sweat mark, like it's on the outside of the glass, but it looks like it's inside the glass, a little sweat mark. Even a little sweat mark on the outside, it's dripping down. So I'm gonna have a ground line. My glass has to be sitting somewhere. There we go. And let's get a couple of puddles on the ground or on the table because my it's warm outside and it is melting. A couple little puddles. We can even put, whoops, a little line, a little shape inside here. This is like a highlight, like that reflection that you can kind of makes things look more three-dimensional. And there we have our glass of ice water. But now I'm gonna put some color, or, oh wait, I'm gonna erase. Let me erase my guideline. Good. Now, we're gonna put some color in it, but our color is gonna go around our glass to make the um, see-through, the transparency pop. Ready? Go. Ta-da!